Today, I am proud to announce that we are moving ahead with the first phase, the first of two phases that will happen for the redevelopment of Royal Inland Hospital. The first phase of this will be an $80 million commitment that has to go ahead in order to enable the rest of the work to happen. So phase one will include clinic space for cardiology, neurology, renal dialysis, and respiratory programs, as well as teaching space for, UBC, for the UBC medical program. Throughout the hospital, space is at a premium. This proposal will provide much needed additional clinical space and will make a big difference in our ability to serve those in the community and the ability to get the services that they require. When you think of overall uh, hospital investments, $80 million of investment in the City of Camels is a very significant piece of infrastructure going in, and the added space will no doubt uh, help us along with health services as well as the local economy. So I want to uh, thank everyone involved for all the lobbying efforts to this point and uh, the province for stepping up and making this happen, as well as IHA for uh, supporting all the way along. It's so important to keep in mind, and this was alluded to earlier, that although this is great news for Kamloops, it's not just Kamloops, uh, because this will benefit residents uh, of the entire region. region. So some of the places that were mentioned uh, earlier, Ashcroft, Merritt, Clearwater, uh, and beyond, will all now gain from the new clinical services building.